guys, back at it. I've got my 99 BMW. It's a 323IS. Clean little guy. I've had it for a few years. During one of our storms, somebody backed into it, so had to replace the fender. But now that I had to get the brake and light inspection, I have to get a smog inspection, which what happens when smog comes up? Check engine light comes up. So I was battling the O2 sensor. The downstream kept triggering. So I ended up buying one online since I couldn't find one in stores. Uh, I got it on eBay. Worked out great. Well, now that I got that code cleared, I have got or had a PO441, which is emissions, of course, never fails. Gas cap, which was thankfully the simplest thing to fix. So, what I did was um, pull this bad boy off. I mean, shoot, look at it. it's the original gas cap. I took some WD 40, sprayed it in there, cleaned it all up, did the same inside there. So, when it ran its course again, uh, thankfully it popped up and uh, the gas code or emissions code was cleared. So now my only issue is, probably getting you dizzy walking around my car, is now my secondary smog pump is not kicking in. It's not ready. I've drove this thing many times. I've turned it off, listened to the smog pump kick on. So I went to my smog guy and I was like, what am I doing wrong? And if you didn't know, this is your secondary smog pump right here. And when you start the car when it's cold, the air sucks from here. Pull that cap off. And then the air just sucks through there. Um, anyway, that's all working good. So, I called my small guy and he told me to start the car up in the morning, listen for the pump to come on, go drive it for like three miles, and um, come back and test it. Well, he said do that a bunch of times, sometimes it takes a while for it to kick in. So I'm gonna, right up underneath here, if you didn't know, is where you're gonna plug in your scanner, which is, you know, steering wheel, left side. Um, plug that in real quick. Sometimes I get it right away, sometimes it takes me a second. Struggles real. I do not want to lay underneath here. Oh, I got it. Okay. All right. So I'm just using this bad boy. I'm gonna start my car up. Give it a second. I'm gonna go to diagnose. Okay. And it's gonna run its course. Oh my God, cute little car. I think it's got almost 300,000 miles on it. Anyway, here we are. Wait, does that say? I think it's ready. Anyway, it was reading seven and then not complete one. 
and like I said I just started it up drove it down the street for three miles came back I actually did it uh, this morning too it's kind of cold right now outside so the car cooled down probably four hours ago I did it um, no check engine light which is awesome I think I'm gonna go run this thing to the smog station right now I'm stoked anyway yeah 1999 BMW 323 IS E36 series um, beautiful car I love it we had all interior like I did the, the headliner yes I did the headliner back seats are magnificent I guess my only thing is this guy look at you can see it right now only because of my phone I cannot see it with my eyeballs that is so dim so that's gonna be my next project trying to get that thing to brighten up so I can see it well I hope my video is helpful um, with you having the issue with the smog pub coming on and like I said just it's got to go through its run cycles it's got to you know it's gonna tell you it's not ready you're gonna have to make sure it's cold when you start it make sure it's sucking air through that hose like I showed you uh, take it for a drive you know like three miles or so come back park it run the scanner on it and see if it if it clears the code if not repeat the process Hopefully it doesn't take you too many times. It took me, I'm not gonna lie, seven times and I did 141 miles. So mine was very slow to process. Anyway, once again, God bless and please like my video.